What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video, we're going to talk about 4090s versus 30 series GPUs. So, if you're following the channel, you know that lately I've started doing my research for building rigs specifically for proof of useful work, or perhaps just renting hardware on websites like Vast.ai or maybe Clore's uh, GPU marketplace. And I think that's the direction things are going, and I'm trying to prepare myself, and I'm learning a lot of things. One of the things that I've learned recently is 4090s are highly sought after for people renting hardware. When it comes to, you know, borrowing someone else's hardware, they're not very interested in 30 series GPUs from what I'm understanding. And so it really made me want to put together a spreadsheet and compare the differences between multiple 30 series GPUs versus a 4090. And let's go ahead and pull up this spreadsheet here. So as you can see, I've got the 3090 all the way through the 3060. We've got all the hash rates, how many coins per day, the hash to watt ratio, the revenue per day, the profit per day. Now these two columns here may not make a lot of sense right now. Let me try and explain. So cost per coin essentially is taking the dollar amount and dividing it by the amount of coins you're getting per day. And then we have the cost per coin per watt, which takes the amount of money you've spent on the GPU, divide that by the coins per day, and then divide that by the efficiency. So I've got a few different algorithms here. We've got Dynex, Caspa, Nexa, and Radiant. Wanted to get a variety of different algorithms so that we paint a pretty clear picture as to how well the 4090 performs versus the 30 series GPUs. Because me personally, not advice to you guys, but I want to start upgrading from the 30 series to the 40 series. And it looks like the 4090 is going to be the best bang for the buck. So let's compare CASPA first and we'll go through the rest of the algorithms. So CASPA yields you about 46 coins a day, hash rate of 1080, hash to watt ratio 6.75. And the 3090 does perform really well on CASPA compared to some of the other ones. And revenue per day 66 cents, profit per day 28 cents. You're spending $15.51 per day per on a on 13090 uh, to gain 46 coins per day and you're spending two dollars and thirty cents per coin per watt per day so what would it take to get really close to the total hash rate of 14090 so let's say we had two 3090s that would get us pretty close we would yield less coins our hash to watt ratio would be drastically lower. Our rev excuse me, revenue per day would be lower. And our profit per day would be significantly lower. And that mainly has to do with the efficiency of the 4090. But when you take a look at, let's say for example, if you were purchasing 3090s at 725 bucks, two of them is going to cost you 1450 as compared to 1600 bucks perhaps for a 4090. So what about 3080 Ti's? If we had two of those, significantly lower revenue and significantly lower profit, we'd spend 1300 bucks. What if we put an unequal number here? Now obviously you're not gonna be able to buy half a GPU, but just for the sake of argument here, if we're trying to get to the exact same hash rate, what would we need? Let's go with 2.3. Wow, that gets us extremely close. So 2130, excuse me, 2430 and 2430 yield just slightly less coins per day. Hash to watt ratio is not going to be affected by how many GPUs we have. Our total profit would be 41 cents, which is half of what it would be on a 4090, and our revenues would be about the same. And we'd spend 1500 bucks on 2.3 3080 Ti's. What about a 3080? So what if we had three 3080s? 
we'd have less hash rate, less coins per day, efficiency is less, revenue is less, and profit is almost half. And we would still spend about the same on 33080s at 500 bucks a piece as buying 14090. How about a 3070 Ti? Uh, let's say if we had four of them. Not even close to the same hash rate. What about 4.5? Still not the same hash rate. What about 5? Pretty close, but still less. So we get a little bit more coin per day. Obviously, again, the hash per watt is not going to change. We've got $1.45 in revenue, which is extremely close. And then our profit on 53070 TIs would be 95 cents, which would actually be better than 14090. However, we'd spend almost 2300 bucks on 53070 TIs versus 14090 at $1600. So, do you see where I'm going with this yet? <laughs> All right, let's move on to a 3070. Everybody thinks 3070 is the king of efficiency, uh, so this should be a great test here. So, five of them, less hash rate, less coins per day, efficiency pretty close, revenue lower, profit lower, and total spent on those GPUs would be 2,000 compared to 1,600. So, what about a 3060 Ti. Let's go with six of them. So we've got more coins per, or excuse me, more hash rate, less coins per day, worse hash to watt ratio, less revenue, and less profit, and we spent more money. So at this point, if you are mining Caspa only, and that's the only thing that you're interested in, then I think it's pretty clear that you should not be buying 30 series GPUs if you plan on buying any GPUs at all. You probably want to shoot for a 4090. Now what about the 4080 and the 4070 Ti? Well, they're not quite as good. As you can see, hash rate is double that of a 4080 and the 4070 Ti is pretty close to a 4080. Uh, but as far as efficiency is concerned, the 4090 is still outperforming both the 4080 and the 4070 Ti. So what if we had two 4070 Ti's? Well, in this case, our revenue would get pretty close, but our profit, um, not quite the same, and we'd still spend $1,600. So obviously the 4090 is still the best choice here. Now what about Dynex? Dynex is a a bit of an outlier. Dynex has brought profitability back to a lot of older GPUs that were previously unprofitable on all other algorithms. Now in this case you can see the cost per coin the 3090 and the 3060 are much better buys than a 4090. However the cost per coin per watt um, it's still pretty good on a 4090, but the 3060 is actually going to outperform everything. Now, let's take a look at what it would take to get pretty close to the same hash rate here. So, let's say if you had 1.1. Uh, let's go 1.15. So, that's pretty close. Uh, we're getting about the same amount of coin per day. Our hash to watt ratio is substantially better on the 4090. Our revenues are almost identical, but our profit is twice as high on a 4090 still. Now, the one kicker here is the amount of money that you spent. So on 13090, you you would basically only spend 750 bucks. But you know, if we're trying to match hash rates, then that's 863 dollars, which is about half of what you'd spend on a 4090, but how much is that efficiency worth to you is the big question. And that's gonna be different for everybody because I know there's somebody out there listening that's paying 30 cents per kilowatt hour, and there's other people out there that got free power. So, 
yeah, take this with a grain of salt. Let's move on to Nexa. So 13090 on Nexa gets you 124 mega hash, would yield you about 77,000 coin per day. Your hash to watt ratio is 0.53. Revenue per day 75 cents, profit per day of 19 cents. Well, how does that compare to a 4090? We've got more than double the hash rate, more than double the coin, 50% uh, better hash to watt ratio. We've got about 150% increase in revenue. And look at the difference in profitability here 19 cents versus a dollar one. Now, in this case, because of the amount of coins we're yielding, it kind of screws up my cost per coin and cost per watt, or cost per coin per watt. Uh, but let's say, for example, if we're trying to get a 3090 to the equivalent hash rate here, let's say if we had three 3090s, we'd get 374 mega hash versus 320. How about a 3080? What if we had three of those, or 3080 Ti, excuse me? Still quite a bit more hash rate, so let's do a 3080. So a 3080 gets us pretty close. If we have three 3080s, we're spending 1500 bucks and versus 1600 bucks for a 4090. And how about the yield? So we've got less yield. Again, efficiency is substantially higher on the 4090. Our revenue per day is pretty close, $2.22 a day versus $2.06 a day. But again, we get back to profitability. 48 cents a day on three thirty eighties versus a dollar one on a single forty ninety. We've doubled our profit by not buying older GPUs versus forty nineties. So how about radiant? So radiant, it's going to be kind of similar to Dynex in a way. Uh, it is slightly different. So for example, a thirty eighty Ti actually outperforms a 3090 uh, in everything but hash to watt ratio. So if we're gonna try and match what we're getting on a 4090 as far as hash rate is concerned, let's do three 3080Ti's. That's uh, quite a bit more hash rate. How about three 3080's? Mm, it's kinda close. Obviously, we're yielding pretty close to the same amount of coin, but look at the hash to watt ratio again. 14.28 compared to 7.73. So we've doubled our hash to watt ratio. How about revenue? So $1.11 in revenue on three 3080s versus $1.20 in revenue on a single 4090. And then profit, we go from 21 cents to 67 cents, more than triple the amount of profitability. But how about how much money we spent on those GPUs? Again, 1500 versus 1600. What about 3070s? So if we did five 3070s, it gets us quite a bit more hash rate. What about four? Mm, not quite the same. Let's try and get these numbers as close to equal as possible. Let's go 4.5. That's pretty close. So yielding about the same amount of coin, again, hash to watt ratio, less or approximately half. Uh, we're only yielding $1.17 in revenue versus $1.20, and our profit, $0.32 cents versus $0.67. Cents. But if we had four point or four and a half 3070s, we'd spend $1,800 bucks on that versus $1,600. So, you know, again, when it comes back to profitability, the 4090 is going to win in every single scenario. So... That's the reason why I am looking at upgrading, even though I'm not getting top dollar for GPUs or 30 series GPUs at the moment, it's still worth the trade up in my opinion, but not financial advice. I'm going to leave a link to this spreadsheet so that you guys can play with it yourself. Bear in mind the price per coin uh, was taken at the time of recording and these are subject to fluctuate. Um, if anybody out there has the ability to edit this spreadsheet and send it back to me where we're taking the price of the coin or the price of the profitability directly from hashrate.no's website, that would be awesome. Somebody did that for me in the past, and I'm hoping somebody out there will do that again. 
Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like and hit the subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.